my name is Jessica. I'm an Extension Nutrition Specialist with Colorado State University Extension. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate how to make chocolate dipped strawberries. The recipe we're using today makes four servings. Each serving is three chocolate dipped strawberries. However, this recipe could easily be cut in half if you wanted to make fewer strawberries for say just two people. Um, it can also very easily be doubled or even tripled if you wanted a larger number of strawberries for a larger gathering or a party. Okay, so I have my chocolate chips here, my half cup measuring cup, and a small bowl that I'm going to put the chocolate in to melt. Um, I'm using this size bowl, it's a little bit smaller, um, because then that way when the chocolate melts, it'll come up a little bit higher, um, which will be easier for dipping the strawberries in. If the chocolate is um, in a larger bowl, it'll spread out more and be a little bit more shallow, which might make it a little bit more difficult for dipping strawberries. Okay, so let's measure our chocolate chips. So I'm going to do a good half cup here. All right. And then I'll set those aside when I'm ready to microwave them. I'm going to use a microwave method for melting my chocolate today. Um, another option is to melt the chocolate over a double broiler um, on the stove top. Okay, then I'm going to pick out, I've got this small colander here. Um, you can use whatever you have that's um, nice for rinsing strawberries in. If you do not have a colander, you can use, um, just pull them out and rinse them one by one um, and set them off to the side into another bowl. But you do wanna make sure that you're rinsing your strawberries um, in something where the water can drain out um, so that it's not sitting in any dirt or um, germs or anything like that as they're rinsing. Um, you could rinse them one by one and then stick them in the colander like I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to count out my 12 strawberries from my pack right now and then I'll take them over to the sink for rinsing under cool running water. So one, two, three, four. I'm also going to check the strawberries and avoid those that have any um, soft mushy spots because those won't stand so well um, under the chocolate. If it's dipped in chocolate they won't hold up as well. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. And I've chosen the strawberries that are, um, you notice from the package that there's some that are a little bit smaller in size and some that are a little bit bigger. I've picked the larger to medium sized strawberries uh, for this because they'll be easier to dip in the chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna go take these strawberries over to the sink and rinse them individually um, through the calendar um, under cool running water and then we'll be back to uh, melt our chocolate and begin dipping our strawberries. Okay, so, um, after I washed my strawberries, I went ahead and got my baking sheet here and I lined it with some parchment paper. If you do not have parchment paper, you may also use wax paper. Um, or if you don't have either, you could very lightly coat your baking sheet with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray um, and that should do the trick. I've also made chocolate covered strawberries where I did not use any spray or lining for my pan and they did come off okay. Um, I just hate to recommend that because it may stick and you might lose some of your delicious chocolate dipped strawberries. So try to find some lining if you can or a little bit of spray. Okay, so I've rinsed my strawberries and I have them here. And I went ahead also and melted my chocolate. You can see that melted here in this bowl. I melted it in the microwave in about 10 second increments. Um, I think I totally, um, the total time was about 40 seconds total it took until the chocolate was melted. If chocolate is overheated, it may become grainy or lumpy and it will lose its shine when it hardens. So it's uh, very important to heat in uh, short increments if you're heating in the microwave or you could choose to heat it um, on the stove top using a double boiler um, and heat it that way because chocolate's less likely to melt in a double boiler as opposed to, or less likely to burn in a double boiler as opposed to just melting it in the pot itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with dipping our strawberries. 
So these little, the green tops here make for a very nice little handle while dipping. And we're gonna go ahead and dip it in that nice melted chocolate, just about halfway. And we're gonna let it drain a little bit and kind of twirl it, and then you can put it down on your baking sheet. I know these strawberries are a little bit in the way. Okay. So strawberries are a great fruit for someone with diabetes because they are lower in sugar and overall lower in carbohydrates than many other fruits. All fruits are great options because they have a lot of vitamins and minerals um, as well as fiber, but fruit is a higher carbohydrate food. So that is one food that uh, people with diabetes need to be um, aware of and cautious of when consuming. But strawberries have a little less sugar and lower carbohydrates than most other fruits. Okay, so when I'm done dipping them, I'm just gonna line them up on the parchment paper here. I did go ahead and let my strawberries dry a little bit after I rinsed them. Um, I laid out a clean paper towel and let them dry there for a minute or two um, and kind of blotted them very gently because if they're too wet, the chocolate might drip off, so. And you wanna dip them, as I mentioned, just about halfway because having a little bit of the red on the top show is really beautiful presentation for the strawberries. All right. Strawberries were used in the nutrition analysis um, on the recipes here. But if you can't find strawberries or if it's out of season and there just aren't good ones at your uh, local grocery store or market, um, chopped chunks of banana work really good. If you chop up a banana, banana in about one and a half inch chunks, um, those work really great for dipping in chocolate. Uh, dried fruits such as apricots um, or figs also work really well dipped in chocolate and um, pair well with that. Those are just a couple other options if you can't get strawberries. But do keep in mind that the nutrition analysis, the carbohydrate content will change as those fruits, dried fruits and bananas are a little bit higher in sugar and higher in carbohydrates than strawberries. All right. So I'm gonna finish up these last four strawberries. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is leave my tray out at room temperature on the counter for a little while to let the chocolate harden at room temperature. And then if you are not going to be eating these soon or today in the same day that you make them, um, after the chocolate's hardened and had some time at room temperature, you may go ahead and put them in the refrigerator. Um, but if you are eating them the same day, it makes um, the that I feel that the strawberry as well as the chocolate tastes much better if left at room temperature. But like I said, if you're not gonna be consuming them that day, um, you'll wanna stick them in the refrigerator. And you will wanna eat them up within just a few days. Um, otherwise what happens is the, the strawberries begin to um, weep a little bit and some of the water starts to come out and the chocolate gets a little bit watery and slightly mushy. So you can see these 12 strawberries um, took up just about all of the chocolate. There's only very little chocolate left here in the jar or in the bowl. Okay, so here you can see we've got our 12 chocolate dipped strawberries. I'm gonna go ahead and let them cool um, before serving. Okay, so I've come back to my strawberries. I've given them some time to harden um, and for the chocolate to solidify around the strawberry. Um, you can see this small roll of um, chocolate dipped apricots here. I had that little bit of extra chocolate left in my bowl and I happened to have some dry apricots so I went ahead and dipped those in there just to um, use up the rest of that chocolate. So that's what it would look like if you chose to use some apricots to dip in chocolate. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plate a serving of our chocolate dipped strawberries here. So if you've given them enough time to harden, they should come right off of the wax paper or the, the parchment paper. And they should slip really nicely off there. Okay, and there you have it. Your 
chocolate dipped strawberries. I hope you all enjoyed this demonstration on making chocolate dipped strawberries today, and I hope you too will go and give this recipe a try and enjoy.